dear students, welcome to today's lesson. In the previous lesson, we have learned about distribution of population in the world and in Africa. Population distribution throughout the world is uneven. There is a sparsely and densely populated region of the world. For example, densely populated region of the world is the Asiatic belt, the peninsular Europe, and the Northeast and Northern America are densely populated region of the world. Very sparse pupil is found in the tundra region because of harsh climates. And the second sparsely populated region of the world is found in the hot and dry climatic region because the temperature is very high and rainfall is scant. And when we see population distribution in Africa, fertility rate is very high. So growth rate and rate of natural increase in Africa is very high. Today, let us see determinants of population change in Africa. The three components that determine population change are birth rate, death rate, and migration are the three determinants of population change in Africa. Population change in a given country is affected by natural change and also needs migration rate. Natural change is the difference between crude birth rate and death rate. Net migration is the result of immigration and immigration. As we have seen in the above explanation, the difference between days and births also known as natural change. The balance between immigration and immigration is known as net migration rate. So African, the current population change is the result of these three components, that is fertility, mortality, and migration. So students depend on the previous session, what is fertility, what seems like fertility in Africa, what is mortality, why people of Africa migrate from one place to another. Africa's people migrate from one place to another because of different reasons. But the main reason is political instability, and the second one is natural catastrophes are the main reason for the migration of Africa's people. So fertility refers to the occurrence of birth in the human population. It is a natural positive factor. That means if area has high fertility, it has high population. That means fertility increases the number of population in a given area. Birth rates are high in Africa because of many reasons. For example, people have less access to the contraceptive methods. And also, people are backward and poverty stickers. And the other reason is the woman education status. They have low status of education. And also, many children are needed for different purposes. For example, to work on land. In general, people of Africa most live in rural area since they have low educational background. And also, many religions encourage large family size. Students, let us see what seems like the fertility of Africa according to 2009 data sheet of the United uh, Nations. So as we have seen in the above uh, explanation in the table, the birth rate of Africa is very high. It is 36 people born per thousand. This is the highest even for the standard of developing countries. The standard of developing countries is 22 per thousand. That means 
the birth rate of developing country it is 22 per thousand. But the fertility rate of Africa, it is greater than the standard of developing country that is 36 per thousand. So fertility rate is very high in Africa. And also in Ethiopia, fertility rate is very high. Let us see this table. The crude birth rate of developed country, it is 12 per thousand. In developed country, birth rate is lower than developing country. Developed country, birth rate is 22 per thousand. Rate of natural increase in Africa, developing country also high. Infant mortality rate in developing country, it is very high. Infant mortality rate mean infant days or children below one year or the days of children below one year, we call it infant mortality rate. So infant mortality rate in developing country, it is very high and also maternal days also very high in developing country. So life expectancy of developing country, it is 65 years average. The life expectancy of developed country, it is 74 years. So developing country has high fertility rate and also high death rate, a rate of natural increase in developing country also very high. Life expectancy of developing country is short when you compare than developed country because developing country has low economic status. If area has low economic status, the fertility rate is very high and also the mortality rate very high. When it's the region of Africa, birth rate of Africa is 36 per thousand, as we have seen in the above. It has high fertility rate in Africa because of different factors. And also the death rate is very high, but fertility rate is greater than mortality rate in Africa. And natural increase in Africa it is big high because of the result of high fertility rate. The infant days in Africa it is very high because African countries have low economic status because of this, more infants days happen in each year. When we see the life expectancy of Africa, it is 53 years, but the fertility rate is high, but our life expectancy is very short. When we see each region of Africa, North Africa, the fertility rate or the crude birth rate is 25 per thousand, but the days rate is seven per thousand. North Africa has low days rate. It shows that North Africa is well developed, uh, depending on the above uh, explanation, well developed region when we compare to the other region of Africa. The rate of natural increase of Northern Africa is 1.8 and the infant mortality rate of Northern Africa is only 38 when we compare to the other region of Africa. This shows that North Africa is well developed economically. Only 38 infant deaths per thousand people. But the Western Africa, Eastern Africa has high fertility rate and also the Central Africa has high fertility rate, but it has high infant deaths. And the life expectancy of Western, Eastern and Central Africa, it is 51 years. Southern Africa has high mortality rate. Infant days is 48 and the life expectancy of 59. The North African life expectancy, it is large when we compare from the other region of Africa, it is 69 years. So from all the region of Africa, North Africa is high or long life expectancy. Birth rate is defined as the number of living births per thousand population in a year. For example, when we say the birth rate of Africa is 36 per thousand, we mean that 36 
but this will occur for every thousand people. Let us see what seems like the fertility rate of Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, crude birth rate is very high. According to 2009 data sheets, the crude birth rate of Ethiopia, it is 39 per thousand. It shows Ethiopia has high fertility rate. Let us see, currently African countries have birth rates below 13 per thousand include Mauritius, Tunisia, Morocco, South Africa, Egypt, Seychelles, Reunion, Libya, Namibia, Algeria, and Lesotho countries has crude birth rate and Lesotho countries have crude birth rates below 30 per thousand. Let us see about the death rate of Africa. Death rate is the number of days per thousand population in a year. In Africa, death rate is 12 per thousand. This is to say that 12 days will occur for every thousand people on the average every other year. So the death rate is less than the crude birth rate. Let us see natural change for Africa. As we have seen in the above lesson, a rate of natural increase, it is the difference between crude birth rate and crude death rate. Depend on the above lesson, a rate of natural increase in Africa is high because the birth rate is greater than the death rate. So crude birth rate in Africa, it is 36 per thousand and the death rate is 12 per thousand. So it give us 2.4 percent rate of natural increase expressed by using percent. The birth rate is 36 minus 12. It give us 24 divided by thousand and to change in percent we multiply by 100. So the rate of natural increase in Africa, it results 2.4 percent. It has high fertility rate because the result is very high. There is an inverse relationship between the level of economic development and fertility. For example, in Africa, the regions that have relatively better economic progress are likely to have low rate of fertility. For example, North Africa has low fertility rates and it has low death rate because it has well developed economically. So fertility rate and economical development has inversely a relationship. Okay, mortality refers to the occurrence of days in the human population. Okay, students, what seems like mortality in Africa? Mortality generally refers as the occurrence of days in the given population. Measure of mortality rate are crude days rates and infant mortality rates are measure of mortality. So in Africa, mortality rate is the highest in the world. The birth rate is high in Africa. The mortality rate of Africa also very high, but fertility greater than mortality. The continent had a crude death rate of 12 days per thousand population. When we see the region of Africa, in Northern Africa, only seven days per thousand people. And in Southern Africa, mortality rate or crude death rate is very high. It is 15 people die per thousand people. So North Africa has less mortality rate from the region of Africa. Southern Africa has high mortality rate. 
In general, Africa mortality rate is very high when we compare to the other region of the world. The lowest infant mortality rate is in Northern Africa. Only 38 infants die per thousand people. So, Africa's death rate is attributed to the following major factors. Low standard of living, low access to health facilities, poor sanitation practice, and also civil war and political instability, widespread of famine caused by recurrent droughts. So the above are the cause of high death rate in Africa. When we say Africa's death rate, after Second World War, the African death rate is declined because of development in medical technology, in sanitation practice, and also the discovery of medicine, and also vaccine for tropical diseases. So uh, still, the mortality rate of Africa is very high, but it declined after the Second World War. The Infant mortality rate is generally regarded as prime indicator of socioeconomic development. Infant mortality rate has declined from 138 per thousand in 1950 to 88 per thousand in 1975 and 80. And now it is down to 74 per thousand when we see the infant mortality rate of Africa. Let us see life expectancy at birth. Life expectancy is the average number of <coughs> sorry. Life expectancy is average number of years a newborn infant can expect to live under current mortality levels. There is dispersely in life expectancy between rich and poor country. A rich country, a rich countries have long life expectancy, but poor countries have low life expectancy. But this has shown a significant coverage over the year, last five years, despite widening world's gap between them, between the rich and poor people. Let us see the life expectancy for selecting developed and developing country. For example, this country has long life expectancy. There are developed countries. For example, the life expectancy of Japan is 83 years. The life expectancy of Australia it is 81 years. France, 81. Italy, 82. Sweden, 81. Switzerland, 82. From this table, we conclude that well-developed countries have long life expectancy. When we see the underdeveloped or developing country, the life expectancy of Switzerland is 46 years, Ethiopia, 53, Mozambique, 43, Angola, 46, Malawi, 46, and Zambia, 43. So, Developing country has short life expectancy. The fertility rate in developing country it is very high, but the life expectancy is very short. It is dominated by young age group. The current birth and death rate of Africa, as we have seen in the above, dominated by very young or economically dependent population age group. Let us see the life expectancy of developing, developed country and each region of Africa. The life expectancy of the world is 68 years, it is an average. The developed country has long life expectancy, it is 77 years because they are well economic developed. Developing country average it is 55 years. When we see the African life expectancy, it is only 54 years. 
when see each region of Africa, the sub-Saharan Africa life expectancy, it is 50 years. The Northern Africa, it has long life expectancy when we compare from the other region of Africa, it is 69 because it is well-developed country. The Western Africa has only 51 years. The Eastern Africa is 41 years. Central Africa, 51 years. South Africa, 49. Years. From this, we conclude that a region of Africa, almost all have short life expectancy because we are underdeveloped country. So Africa's life expectancy are low in the world. For example, long life expectancy is found in North Africa at 69 years and 49 years in Eastern Africa, but Eastern Africa is the more populous region that its fertility rate is very high in Eastern Africa. But the life expectancy of Eastern Africa, it is very low. It is only 49 years. We are less developed country. Ethiopia also found in this region. Let us see characteristics of African population. The structure or composition of African population falls under two categories. These are the biological and cultural characteristics. The biological characteristics include race, ethnicity, sex, and age include under biological characteristics. The cultural characteristics comprise education, health, nutrition, religion, occupation, and the like, include under cultural characteristics. The students, let us see the age structure of Africa. Age structure is the distribution of male and females within different age groups. Sex and age structure are the basic characteristics and biological attributes of the given population. When we see the population pyramid, population pyramid shows the distribution of various age group in each sex in human population. A wide base of population, a high birth rate, and the narrow base indicates low birth rate. So in developing country, the pyramid as a base, it is very wide, it shows the fertility rate is very high. When you see symmetry, symmetry indicates the size difference between male and female. And also it has shape, it has concave or concave shape. The concave side indicates high days rate. The convex side indicates low death rate. So the concave and convex shape of the population pyramid shows the death rate. The population pyramid of Ethiopia, it is concave side indicates it has high death rate in Ethiopia. So Africa is a continent could be characterized by young population. This can be easily identified from the median age. The median age of Africa, it is 18 years. If country has low median age, the fertility rate, it is very high. The median age of Africa, it is 80 years. We can conclude that High fertility rate, the growth rate is very high, but the economic development is very low. So the African population dominated by young age group. When we see the median age of Europe, it has 37 years. So it is dominated by adult and old age group. When we see the median age of Europe, it is 37 years, so it is dominated by adult and old age group. If area has long 
median age, it shows well economically developed and fertility rate and growth rate also very low. So in Africa, the median age is low, the fertility rate very high, growth rate high, rate of natural increase also very high, but our economic development is very low. In general, low median age reflects high fertility and high population growth rate. High median age shows well economically developed and the fertility rate and the growth rate is very low. Students, let us see this chart. When you see this chart, if area has high fertility rate, it has also high dependency ratio and also low economical development. And also if an area has high fertility rate, the population growth rate also very high. The population group dominated by low median age. Area has low population growth rate. It has high median age. And the fertility rate is low and also low dependency ratio, but it has high economic development. Let us see Africa's population by age and major regions. In Sub-Saharan Africa, below 14 years, it is 43. In North Africa, 33. In Western Africa, 44. In Eastern Africa, 44. In Central Africa, 45. In South Africa, 33. In Africa region, it has high fertility rate, but the life expectancy is very low. So people above 65 years, it is very few because our life expectancy is very low and it has large age dependency ratio. Let us see students what seems like sex structure of Africa. Sex ratio is an important demographic characteristics it refers to proportion of male to female in the overall population of a given area. To find sex ratio, we have the formula is equal to male population over female population. We can multiply by 100. Sex ratio is an important indicator of the economy of a given country, and it is useful for regional analysis. So in general, the study of sex structure, it is very important for regional analysis. With regard to sex ratio, sub-Saharan Africa, sex ratio is below the world average within less than 98%. The context of high sex ratio in these countries is attributed to the prevalence of a large number of immigrants. Let us see the major characteristics of African population. As you have seen in the above lesson, the African population dominated by low median age, this young age group, it has high fertility rate and it has high mortality rate. In Africa, mortality is very high and also fertility rate is very high. Generally, Young population group dominated the population of Africa. It is a result of high fertility. We understand this from the median age. The median age is 18 years. The triangular population pyramid indicates the prevalence of high fertility rate and mortality rate. At the base, the pyramid is wide it shows that the fertility of Africa, it is very high. And also it has high age dependency ratio, youth dependency ratio, and low old dependency ratio. Low life expectancy, the life expectancy of Africa it is 54 years. And it has high population growth rate. The high population growth rate is the result of high fertility. 
Students, so let's move to migration. Migration is the movement of people from one place to another. It is an important control of population change next to fertility and mortality. It is not a biological factor, it is a non-biological factor. Migration increase or decrease a given population. So migration is the social cultural components of a population change. It has both negative and positive impact based on its net effect. The motive leading to migration in Africa include the prevalence of diverse and wide range of climatic zone. Africa has a diverse relief future. The diverse relief future results in diverse climate. Because of this diverse climate, the African people move from one place to another. And also, the prevalence of diverse and multi Multi, sorry, the presence of diverse and multitude natural resource because of countries large size. Africa is not densely populated, but in terms of size, it is the second continent next to Asia, but it is not densely populated because of its large size. The prevalence of varying economic activities, ranging from agriculture to trade, and existence of di uh, divergent level of economic and social development. Because of this, the African people move from one place to another. So migration is common in Africa. The two major types of migration which brings about the population change and effect, it is internal migration and international migration. Internal migration is the movement from one part of the country to another part. We call it internal migration. Internal migration is common practice in many parts of Africa and caused mainly by economic reason. And internal migration are two types. These are permanent and temporary migration. Permanent migration refers to people movement from their original place of residence to another way they establish a new residence on a permanent basis. This means they do not return back to their origin. Temporary migration involved the movement of people whereby they leave their original residence from another for a short period of time. This means they return back to the origin. So such migration is often practiced on periodically. Students, why people migrate from one place to another? People migrate from one place to another because of pushing and pulling factor. The pushing factors are a diverse climatic condition, natural disaster, low employment opportunity, low income, factor people live from the original place because of this pushing factor and attract by other pulling factors. The pulling factors are job prospectives, high wage, improved housing, high standard of living, attractive environment and so on. So people live from their original place because of pushing factor and attract by pulling factor. So in general, migration is the movement of people from one place to another because of pushing and pulling factor. There are different types of migration. That is rural to urban migration, rural to rural migration, urban to rural migration, urban to urban migration for searching different things. For example, people migrate from rural area to urban for searching better life education and so on. 
International migration is the movement from one country to another, wherever this may be in the world. We call it international migration. International migration happened in various form and has a long history. Brain drain is the movement of highly educated people, such as engineers, researchers, lawyers, university instructors, medical doctors, and so on, from their countries to another countries for working condition and for payment and for different purpose, they migrate from their country to another for searching uh, different things. In short, brain draining is the movement of educated people. Students, this is our today lesson. We have seen about the determinants of population change and also about what seems like the mortality, fertility, and the growth rate of Africa. And also we have seen about migration of Africa. Thank you.